push it back even more but because because I was needing to talk to Fred before going live but I haven't talked to him yet he had a, um, a meeting at 6 30 and I thought it would have been done like that I would have been able to talk to him and been you know ready in time for set of 7.45 when I first had it set. But I still hadn't heard from him, so I pushed it to 8.05 and still haven't heard from him. So I kind of wanted to talk to him first. I haven't even had a chance to really uh, talk to him about what he, he uh, did go to Ben Hill Road. Um, losing an hour f's with you well i uh am happy to have it be lighter a little bit longer in the day bennett <laughs> athena i thought you're i thought for, why did i see something um one second i have to respond to this email So Fred took some video for us, but it's hard to hear in parts of it. So I was going to ask him some questions, but hold on. Are you? I set my alarm for an appointment tomorrow morning. I'm trying to. Okay. So. Kathy and uh, Fred and her son went to Ben Hill Road. And he got me a couple, some videos and pictures. And I did also from here, I probably need to send those to email myself those too, because I got some Got some from Kathy too. Somebody, some something was going on at 125 today, though. I'll tell you that. There was 
couple of vehicles at the bottom of 125. And I don't recognize the vehicles, but one's a Cadillac and one is a, looks like how my niece on Versa used to look like a really pretty blue color, but it's, I think this one might be a Volkswagen. So shit was, I don't know popping off. I don't, I don't know what was happening at 125 today. <coughs> Is that An Andy's driveway? Which one? 125. Yeah. Well, but he doesn't live there. I didn't think anybody was really staying there. guess we can let's see let's let's see what these are let me share the screen so you can see one second See, I really wanted to talk to him first. I really, what the heck? There's that tree that people think that they have like such a I don't know what this all is. See, that's why I was going to ask him. These are all pictures Fred took today. But I don't have explanations of them yet. <laughs> I'm such a bad host. Seriously. <laughs> the hell uh, no we don't want gosh we're back in AOL like American online internet days dial up look at that Well, once I hear it start playing, we'll pull it up. Um, well, the thing. Yeah, he gave, he sent a pretty good video that I'm trying to pull up and. I don't know. This is lame. Open and explore. Okay. Oh, wait. Maybe something. Oh, hold on. I might have figured something out. You can eat them too. Uh, I don't want to see that one yet. That one's save that one for last. Okay. So this is a, okay, this will be outside. This one would be outside the hit 165, I guess, out back. I'm not she even. Let's see. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't, I have no idea what any of this is. <laughs> yeah, that's where uh, 165. I mean, I know this is at 165 Ben Hill Road today. And um, the one, though, that I was going to, we'll just go ahead and watch the one that I'm more interested in. The thing is, unfortunately, it's hard to, it's hard to hear at certain points. Um, unfortunately, because of the wind. You can eat them too. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is right here. So that right down through the dark. Um, yes. Okay, so. This is, uh, he's going to show like the area where uh, Cotton lived and also a few other things like where um, the area where he was found, like an area of where he was found. Like he doesn't know exactly. He just knows what he was told. Um An area where Cotton was found, like he doesn't know the exact cave cave like the exact but they already found it and everything obviously the blue couch was there a blue couch you can eat them too yeah. So that right down through the dark. Um, yeah, straight off right there is where they had been caught. In it. That's backside of Run Park and Host Defense and Base Map Park. I'll come to a connection right there. So I go all around this. You can turn right here. Oh, I can turn right here? Yeah. See, all this is Simpsons right here. So yeah, it's Bob Simpson. He's dead now. Then Betty Jo Simpson, Randall Simpson's place. Randall was Nate's. Uh, and my back in it. Yeah, not the code too deep. Yeah. I can't see. Uh, I see your back. I got you. There you go. Like I did, I predicted that. You know. So it's that's where Karen goes through. Yeah, I Okay, so right there, that's the cemetery. I'll, I'll try to. He was showing like the area, the direction of the area where cotton was found. Here is um, the cemetery that Bowser Cemetery, I believe it's called, that um, Karen Goad is buried. So Don. Well's mother. So this is all it just showing you the like how close everything is, like where cotton was found, um, where Dawn, um that whole incident with the little girl where he acted like he was trying to save her happened. Anyways, for the next minute or so, I think it's gonna be really the wind is gonna be real bad. So she says that she's talked to TBI and everyone playing that she was telling all she knows, including Andy, Don, and Candace. She says she has talked to TBI and everyone and implying she was telling all she knows, including Andy, Don, and Candace. She should have already been do doing that. Hard drive. Yeah. Because there was a hole. In yeah, there's lots of holes in the fences that they do. Sorry about the wind. I don't know if you just said he cotton's buried there too. See, that's what I'm wanting to ask Fred about this stuff. I'm so sorry. I thought I would have had 
had talked to him by now. Um, who is it? Do you think do, uh, inserts themselves to us? For us, it matters. It matters who, which ones you're talking about. Fred definitely hasn't inserted himself. That. That. I mean, I. I but the other ones, like Jody Sue, I don't know. I don't. I can't. I can't. With her, I can't decide if she if she's sus because she's involved, or is she just like so desperate for attention? You know. It will get quieter right here in a second. <laughs> So this would be what Ma Mountain View Road or something, Mountain View. The Cialis is right in within a half a mile of each other. So what he's talking about of everything being within a half mile of each other uh, is basically where Cotton Simpson lived, where Cotton Simpson was found deceased, where um, Don Wells' mother is born, or I'm um, born is, wow, where Don Wells' mother is buried, where Don Wells tried to act like he was saving a little girl from being abducted or some shit, which actually, which was days after Summer went missing, all in this area. Also, um, the whole lawnmower incident with, what was it, um, Tony Hammonds was also in this area where he was tried to grab a boy or something. I believe it was right in this area as well. Yeah, this is new. This is today. Fred still has to, he's still in the, yeah, he's still in um, the, the halfway house or whatever it is. So he, yeah, he's allowed to leave during the day and come back. Has to be back at certain times, has to be at meetings and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Slow down. This next driveway to the left is where they tried, where Don tried to coach that girl in the, in the truck with him. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, right there at that house is where. And how old was this girl? Uh, she was probably about five or six. Oh, God. So, you guys heard that, right? The, remember that whole, really, between what Fred and I were talking is like more so, I think he was caught, you know, eyeing this little girl or whatever by a family member and I think he had to play it off. So let's rewind that a little bit because I think this is uh, something nobody's I don't think has been shown yet. 
and people just need to know. The only reason why this is important is because how close everything is. So people understand, like they turned around to go back by, I believe. Yeah, five or six. Who's the woman? It's Kathy. Who's in the chat? Kathy uh, Gordon. Down. Slow down. This next guy way to the left is where they tried, where Don tried to coach that girl in the, in the truck with him. At this house yeah. right here? Yeah, right there at that house is where and how Don. And this girl? Uh, she was probably about five or six. Oh, God. But we turn right here anywhere. No, it's just a sick piece of shit. <laughs> yep. I mean, it didn't make sense why he was trying to coach that little girl in the car, and then he was trying to say, well, this comes with Don's mouth, you know. He's like, well, I was trying to take in knocked on the door and stuff try to get them to understand this is my little girl with this and stuff and it's a bad idea for her to be out here playing and stuff but it wasn't that case you know uh, okay. my opinion you know he loud it because he they got a lot of on him oh did they yeah and he also the same day don was sitting watching another girl mow yard for over two hours on the lawnmower that was on camera that day but that was way out of summer went missing, you know. Here comes the wind again. Okay, you guys be very careful, please. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> To go with what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Oh, she Ryan is because Marvin lived in that log house right there. That's where he was raised, and he knows all the caves, everything around here. That's why I see. I don't know where the caves is myself. I just know what I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> Born and raised, you know. His oh, dad, like his dad built that house. You see. Oh, like and see, that's. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't hear. Uh, there's times that Fred's talking, and I don't think he knows that. Can't hear him. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, that's what Fred says that the police were called during that whole incident when. Um, Don acted like he was trying to save that girl from being abducted. Um, now they're on Mountain View. Oh, shit. Uh, Justin's here, right? I forgot to text him. <sighs> Candy. Prim. This is the spot that I had my vision. Well, this is a hot spot, a hot er, This is just a hot spot for several things that have happened. Um, like where Cotton lives, where Cotton was found, um, the cemetery that Dawn's mother is buried at. Um, where, you know, that incident where he, the little girl was outside playing and. Yes, he did uh, peas in a pod. Yep. 
I can, I'll show a little bit. I'll show a picture of, that's why I was going to send. Hold on. Well, I'm thinking of it, man. I hope that Kathy, are you in here? Have you talked to Fred? Let's see here. I'm not going to show the license plates of the vehicles because, but I'll show like, I don't have the license plate of the vehicles right now, but I know that I know Fred does. Not that it, it's probably nothing. I mean, they're allowed to have people at their <laughs> property. It's just, I don't know. Hold on, let me, um, but it is weird because nobody's staying at 125. I'll send that emailing myself that picture and I'll show that in a second. Yeah, and you got himself, yeah, and got himself entrapped into the fire. Oh God. See, I got him out. The fire department did. Okay, so now he's talking about the fire. Is this is this the area of the mountain where he got stuck in that fire? Is that what see that's these are questions I want to ask Fred. So he's talking about when Cotton Simpson got stuck in that fire that he created from trying to cook meth. And several firemen were injured in that fire, too, trying to rescue him from his own, like, disaster he created. But I don't think it was ever found out that he was cooking meth, and that's what he was doing. He didn't see Don or Candace today. There was a BB gun incident on White Holler today, a dad and a boyfriend incident shown on Remain Calm today, a Michael Brandon Dykes arrested. Michael Brandon Dykes. Huh. I'll check it out. We'll check it out here in a second. Oh, I know. I know your son took him back, Kathy. I'm just saying, like, it's crazy. I haven't heard from him yet. I mean, I heard from him in message. And I know that they had a meeting at, um, house meeting at 630. Kind of wondering. I don't know. Surely he didn't fall asleep. I don't know. We'll get we'll have answers tomorrow, I guess, for some of this stuff, and we'll replay certain things. Um, because Marvin lived in that log house right there. That's where he was raised, and he knows all the caves, everything around here. That's oh. why I see. I don't know where the caves is myself. I just yeah. know what I'm told. Yeah. But Born and raised, you know. His, oh, dad, like that. his dad built that house, you see. Oh, like that. And see, that's. Oh, that's like that. No, they don't take a long time. Yeah, been trapped in the fire. Oh, God. See, well, I got him out. The fire department did. They black five or four or four or five. See, that's Cotton's trailer right here. The next, we'll see. Next, next, next drive. See what this one is. No, 
No, that's not it. No. You can eat them too, yeah. No. Try this one more time. <sighs> um, hold on. I'm obvious. I always wanted to call you. Oh, here we go. I don't even know which one this one is, but but I was one to call you from ride service and I'm gonna lose you in a minute, so but I love you. Okay, bye bye. I don't understand why this river right here the bridge ain't being searched or nothing. I didn't call her. She'd be a call. We didn't have service. She'd be a wonder and worrying. Who is that? My mom. Okay. Because I always usually call her in between. Uh... Wow, is it really that many in chat? I didn't... Okay. So this is who was parked at 125 today. I don't know who... Who knows? I don't know. Are they selling the property or? The one on the back is a Cadillac and that kind of looks like my Nissan Versa like I used to have. But could be maybe a Volkswagen or a Skyon or whatever they're called. So I don't know what they were doing down there. I know that people park down there when they because they can't get up the driveway. So yeah. Ford Focus. So I, it's probably no. This is over at one twenty five, and one twenty five is kind of far down from one ten. But yeah, I don't know what they. I don't know what people would be doing over at one twenty five right now. But And he was still unsure about something that was going to happen, so maybe this is what he's talking about. No, he didn't see the the wells. He was telling him about something that was going to happen. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there is people searching, or maybe he has somebody up there. Fred finally messaged, got out of the house meeting just now. Justin messages me and says, your boss says start the oven live. I might sound short of breath because I've been sick for like two weeks, guys. Like it's crazy. This is like the longest sickness ever. At 125, they were parked. Ginger snaps. Yeah, because they parked down there because the driveway at 125 and 110 are.
treacherous. If you have a decent vehicle, you're not going to want to take it up that driveway. 125 is even worse than 110 as far as this driveway. It's it's so bad. I mean, there is like these dips in the driveway that, man, I mean, look like they're about like eight inches, 10 inches deep. Like it would really tear up your freaking vehicle. I might have allergies, but I definitely have been sick for the past couple weeks. I don't know why he doesn't live there in the cabin at Ben Hill. I don't know. He wants to, he said he wanted to get away from everything. Um, and I don't blame him really, but. Uh, speaking of showing a pic of her uh, new tires, has, uh, has Jody Sue uh, showed a pic of this civil lawsuit she's taken out on me? That was supposed to, we're now going on about, wow, we're going about three weeks past the time that she said she was going to have it done by, like at the absolute latest, the 21st of last month, she was supposed to file this lawsuit that she um, collected hundreds of dollars for. Is it, everybody just going to act like, for you know, that didn't happen? That's crazy, Yorkshire. Oh, yay. Okay, that's for uh, a reading I have tomorrow. Okay. So if they're listening, actually I'll email this person back and tell them I got their payment. Somebody's uh, paying for a reading for tomorrow if anybody's ever interested. I do tarot too. This person is paying for two hours of my time and we're going to do um, a live reading me and it's kind of basically like a little party, you know, like a little, um, like we're, it's going to be a few people um, and I'm going to do draw cards for a few of them, you know, like a little, um, I don't know how to explain it. I was going to email her and tell her I got it. All right. All right, back to Hey, sweet toughness. The unnamed named is after anyone that talks to or helps Andy B. Um, yeah, thank you, Kathy, for taking for going out there and stuff. Um, He said anything that could have been sold for, or a, everything that was really taken of any value to sell, it wasn't to try to look for summer or anything.
was Amy was people are people are going to be really disgusted when they end up getting arrested for involvement in their do own daughter's disappearance. And I know people want to say that to me about Fred and stuff, but um, sorry, I just can't, I, I just can't even go there. Like, I don't even, I don't believe it for a second that Fred's involved in anything like that, anything to do with Summerwell's disappearance. I know I absolutely, and even with Cotton too. But Don and Candace, I'm not very confident about. Rampart from Allergies, get some Zyrtec. I, uh, Zyrtec, this is a uh, Zyzal. You know, old concept today in Mount View Road, Bowser Cemetery, and Cindy Road. God's sister was granted a protective order on him the day he died. Oh, wow, really, Sylvia Brown. That's interesting. So Cotton was ordered a protective order, or I'm not, I'm sorry, Cotton's sister was granted a protective order on the day that Cotton passed. So that would, if that's true, that would have been February 14th of 2023. Um, so what I expect the area to look like where Don Wilson instead of saying that little girl was. What's the best, uh, Jessica? No, he was able to... Forensics, I saw you responded back to, I need to read your message. I haven't got a chance to read it. Um, so he was, he was able to get a device that possibly maybe some of them had been downloaded on, um, but he could not find any SD cards also, the cameras, like, he said that one thing he did tell me is that the cameras that that were up the day Summer went missing, like, the four or three out of the four cameras are now, are not there anymore. Only one is left. That's what he said. It's probably... It's always telling me the things that make you wonder. Jodie Sue was on Shares as much as Jodie Sue was trashed and talked to Sarah and she went on Shares channel. What? I was sick one time like you like you swore it turned into a nasal infection, went to a doctor, said allergies. I was like 42. I said I never had allergies. He says you can get them at any time. Yep. Don left Arkansas and returned when Fred was arrested. In my opinion, law enforcement had questions for Don after talking with Fred and Candace was crying in Arkansas. What was it? I was trying to look up for uh, Rhonda DeWinter's comment. Is Candace working now for real? I know, right, Samantha? Tracy was bitching about them.
Yeah, those of uh oh yeah, September Virgo, you can eat that was one September Virgo was gonna email me and I was gonna send them anybody who was wanting to help with like cleaning supplies and stuff like that for um that place that Fred's staying at, um, email me because that's stuff that he has to keep in all of them are, that are in the house are supposed to be responsible for that stuff. But I did purchase some yesterday, um, some stuff, but um, yes, he did. I agree, Samantha. Yeah, it's like a halfway home. I, I thought it was, we thought it was going to be a rehab, but it's like really, it's basically just a place where it's, you pay rent to stay there, but you, it, they don't cover any of your food or anything. You have to pay, buy all your own stuff. Well, one thing I did do for him, he has an appointment, phone appointment coming up. I, I, um, went online for him and as he told me his information, you know, and filled out him for uh, food stamps. Um, so he has an appointment coming up here in a few days for that. Um, so that should, should help. Also, he has to get his uh, insurance card. That's what we're still working on um, because with his insurance card, he, with the type of insurance he has, he can actually purchase things with it, like certain um, certain types of products and stuff. Even uh, even groceries, I guess. Um, but yeah, in about in a month, he's gonna have to stop. It's seven hundred and fifty a month to stay there, and his checks only five hundred and sixty after um child support so yeah it's it's they don't supply anything it's crazy it really is like we just thought it would be a little bit more structured so anything that needs done like i thought that these people would be the ones signing them up for all this stuff you know i mean i don't i don't mind it but i just thought that that's kind of what they helped with, but I guess not. I guess it's just basically, you know, to try to get you transitioned into normal life. Why am I telling all that man's business? <laughs> um, yep, he's cold turkey off of it, Kate. Nothing, he's not on any type of medication. Nothing. I'm asking for prayers that her tires will be okay to drive with. <laughs> he probably he is watching, guys, I think. Run with what, broken? <laughs> Yes, that's what it is, Rhonda. That's what he has. And the reason why I'm telling his business is because, like, I mean, which part? Which part do you say I shouldn't say? I mean, he's well, well aware of the things, and I'm very. I try to be very careful about certain. You know, I could, I could, if I wanted to, had him on here making all kinds of money, asking him questions and stuff like totally, I could totally be milking the situation, but I think it's more important that actually I'd rather if it wait, you know what I mean? Like that whole Andy and Andy and Fred talk. I wanted it to wait, but I just, I didn't know if it would ever happen if it didn't happen then. So
Hey, Linda. Hey, Trina. Yeah, and I think, and he knows also that he has endless support as long as he's doing the right thing. So, you know. You have that healthcare forensics? Yeah, that's the one that uh, Fred has. I had never heard. I mean, I heard of stuff like that, like where people, you could buy certain things with or products with your interns, but I, I've never known some, I mean, I, I never known somebody to have something like that. I just heard about it. I didn't know it was actually a real thing. I, I thought it was like a scam or something. Hey, Slop. <laughs> hey, um, Slop should feel very honored. I think that she has the only Fred Hill comment that exists on YouTube. He said he commented on your video, Slop. <laughs> so, I didn't go see it, but... I think he just said, he told me he commented that he hopes you did turn it into law enforcement or he's glad you did or something. I, I just hope. I hope that law enforcement's really doing their uh, homework. Oh, Chapstick. No, not. No, I need but thank you for reminding me. Definitely that's somebody. That guy's name is Logan. Um, I won't say his last name here, but it's already been out there. We've pretty much got absolute confirmation on who the guy is who supposedly went into court and asked for some kind of leeway in his sentencing if he gave information um, about Summer Wells. No, I have not talked to that guy yet. I did try to message him. Um, from last I checked, he was still in jail, but I didn't want to message him about this stuff and through the jail system. Um, but I did try messaging him on Facebook. But now that you remind me, it's kind of, you know, it makes me with. Oh, you guys, oh, you want to hear something crazy that happened? So you remember that Brittany girl who I was supposed to have an interview with? Who was uh, Bill Shipley's, like, ex-stepdaughter? Um, so, which would be Sherry. Sherry, who, Bill Shipley's ex who passed from mysterious circumstances and it's being investigated. Um, Sherry's daughter was going to speak on Bill and has all kinds of information on people like, oh my gosh, not just Bill Shipley, but Marlena Crawford and stuff like that. And I think that's the whole reason why she kind of got worried and backed out because these are people that she's surrounded with and are surrounded by. And, you know, it's kind of hard to talk when, yeah, but she tried calling me the other day and I missed it. And I said, and it, it was like at midnight or something. And I said, did you mean to call? Because if you did, I really would like to talk to you, you know, if you'd call tomorrow afternoon. And she said, and she said, I got a response that, yes, she did mean to call. But then I, you know, never heard from her again. So that was a few days ago. So you never know. I just, she's one of those, I guess I'm just going to have to catch when she feels like it, you know, and I'm just going to have to, I'm going to make sure though, I get that conversation recorded. And thank you so much, Aussie Trisha. Thank you so, so much. Who passed away? Um, a lady named Sherry Lane. Speaking of it, I noticed that, speaking of Lane, because of Robin Lane, 
I noticed that Robin Lane's like her maiden name is Sanders. Is that correct? The reason why that just rung a bell with me, because I noticed like one of the guys last names that I talked to that worked for the tree company um, was Sanders. I, um, I'm sure it's nothing, but I just thought that was interesting. Who passed? Um, I'm talking about Bill Shipley's ex. Ex-wife or. It's being investigated because she had. <laughs> it mysteri she passed mysteriously. Within literally hours of seeing Bill Shipley. For the first time in like two weeks. Let's see. What is there that I could play real quick? So I get. I don't want to get off quite yet, but I am going to, I'm not going to be on here too late tonight. Probably about a half hour more. Um, but I don't want to get off here quite yet. So I'm going to find a video to play real quick. Here we we'll watch a we'll watch a little bit of slop, but you guys are you guys are welcome. I fast forward through the part of Dawn with um, shirtless, so you're welcome. You are welcome in advance. Talk about Dawn Well, yeah. see. I don't believe Candace. Hi, my name is. <laughs> I don't believe Candace Bly did anything to her daughter. I believe Candace Bly might be guilty of child abuse and child neglect and doing what she is told to do. I believe there's someone behind Summer's disappearance. Tim Mullen owns a people disappearing business. I believe he helped disappear Summer. Take this scenario. On June 14th, the Wells family goes to bed. It might be 12, 1 a.m. Candace probably passed out by 9, 30, 10 o'clock. The boys probably went to bed a little bit, a couple hours after that. Summer was left with Dawn in the bed. Don knew he had to get rid of his little girl because he had been SAing her all along, all her little five long years, which I'm sure were not happy years on this earth. Oh my gosh, who just sent the cash app? Nurse Sandy, thank you so much. 
Thank you so much. So anyways, I wanted to just play something while I was, I'm not saying how um, I agree with, I don't know. I do, <laughs> I do believe that there was essay involved, but you know, I don't have proof. Um, I don't, obviously I don't have absolute proof. Thank you. Is Nurse Sandy in here? That was really nice. Scrolling back to see what else you guys have said. Oh no, Coco Pop, you did not. Are you serious? Hold on, let me put the comment up. Thank you so much, Nurse Sandy. Thank you, Suzanne. There is a really good bunch of people here. Even also over at Empress City, too, if you want like to get away and where it's just like maybe 50 of us just hanging out, you know, much smaller. Sometimes when I don't feel like having a lot of people, you know, sometimes it's a lot of pressure to feel like you have to entertain people, <laughs> especially when it's like a lot of people in chat. But when it's a lot less people, you don't feel as pressured, you know, but Coco Pop, I went to Indiana University for my freshman year of college on campus. I lived in a dorm and the summer after my freshman year, I worked at this little gas station on camp campus and this poor girl, oh my God, like how I felt so bad for her. She had on thongs, okay, and she had on like it was like a skirt and somehow her skirt hiked up all the way underneath her backpack and she was walking like that for like ever. Like it felt so, I mean, I saw her, I don't know. I was in the gas station. I couldn't, I don't know how somebody, you know, how do you tell somebody that? Like how, I mean, Poor girl, like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> oh, speaking of whistle, there's whistle while you lurk. So I didn't realize yesterday, I just want to say this because I know people saw me in prayer gardens and I, I like prayer garden. Okay. I do. And I, but I do understand people have issues with her. And sometimes she says things that piss me off too. Like a lot of times actually, especially like the frivolous things she'll say about Fred sometimes. And then sometimes like, she's like for Fred and then sometimes she's not, but whatever. Dude, I was dying laughing in her chat last night. I don't think I've laughed that hard. Like, I don't, I I thought she was talking about Daisy. You know, uh, I just want to say I do like Jinkies. So I was not laughing at Jinkies or anything. I thought she was talking about Daisy when I walked in there. So that shit was absolutely hilarious. Like, until... <laughs> I figured out a lot of it was about Jinkies and also that whole situation with her and Purple, too. I don't have a comment. I don't want to be in that whole thing either because I like both of them as well. And, but, yeah. So, I'm just put it out there. Hey, Flow State. But, oh, my God, was she, 
was she on one last night? Like for real? Oh my gosh. I, I could not believe the stuff that she was saying. I was like, my stomach hurts so bad. Right, Sharon? I was, I, yeah, the stuff that she says about cow, I don't, it doesn't, unless it's like real, real, real mean, like, but anyways, the stuff, but like, what about when Prayer Garden was sitting there talking about how she can, how she got, has a real, a real, <laughs> A real man, but she was talking about like, you know, the sex organ. That it's 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 like, oh my gosh, dude, I could not believe the stuff she was saying. Oh my gosh. Tell people I'm D, not prayer guard. I'm always, <laughs> yeah, you're D presents. You don't sound like prayer garden at all. Here for the what? Is there a, the man, Masons use summer for a sec? Hmm. See, I never thought, I thought the whole Masons thing was like crazy thinking really because I was, I didn't, but I didn't realize until recently how much money the Bernards actually have or how much property they actually have. No, I heard people saying, like in the chat at programs last night, that, oh, this person or that person's going to, you know, cancel their membership because they're mad at me because I was in that chat laughing. Well, or I was, that's fine if you want to cancel my, your membership just because of who I, whose chat I was in. Um, people should know by now that I go where I please, you know, I'm not going to tiptoe around. But I will say I was not at all. I, me laughing was at Daisy, not at Jinkies and Purple. Just to make that clear. She did. She broke up the... the she tried to... She was going to talk about, uh, I guess, something with Fred and Andy or something, but got off topic. And then, so she ended the live and restarted it because she didn't want to talk about Summer Wells on, after all the stuff she had been spewing. But, yeah. Um, it was, it was a... Uh, it was a lot, but there was a couple things that were really freaking funny. I can see why people, why some people, why Prayer Garden would rub people the wrong way. Because she's one of those you... I can see why. But I'm going to also say when prayer garden's wrong. I mean, she does the same thing to me, so. But it is true, like, we've kind of got this sister, like, kind of relationship. Because she, she showed up, if people remember, she showed up for the first time, we 
heard Perger and speak was on the Ziggy channel right here. This is where Perger was born. <laughs> <laughs> but you know we always would tell her like early on early on when she first started coming up on the panel here you know people thought i was using her for content but i would always encourage her to get her own channel i did because i always felt like man you know she liked to talk And I knew people would watch her. People would get so mad that I'd have her on my panel because of her mouth, I guess. And just her, the extreme things that she would say at times. But man, would people flock in to watch, right? The nights I'd have prayer garden on, I'd have 1,500 people in the chat. And that's what people wanted to hear. I tell her right here first, but she's growing on me and she has a, yeah, but when she gets, when she gets upset though, she doesn't think like, she'll just say anything. But if you keep, I, I don't know, for some, programs, I think one of those that kind of gets a pass at some things because she is so like. I don't know. It's like, oh, that's just prayer garden, you know, type thing. But some things, though. I'm happy about uh, daylight savings time. I was happy for that extra hour. Of it, it really boosts my mood. I love, you know. 7.30, 8.30 at night in the summertime um, when it's like still light out and it's just perfect temperature, you know? I don't like it. It's, it's depressing when it gets uh, dark so early. Mm. What? You guys, oh, huh? <laughs> yeah. When Summer went missing, I went to social, uh, Judy Sue's social media, and she was talking to a friend about make sure you dress in dark clothes and go in the woods at night. I know, right? I know. We were like, we didn't know if that was her like spying on a KKK meeting, if she was going, or what type of meeting this was. It was, yeah, it was strange, wasn't it? You actually get a little bit depressed when the daylight savings time ends. Yeah. Nurse Sandy, you didn't want to be a mod, did you? Some of you guys don't want to be mods. That's why. So don't. Well, that's my impression. That's why you're. So I don't want anybody to feel. Left out. I have a pretty good set of mods now. Yeah, uh, some people don't even remember you, Keith, because you come around like once, like, <laughs> even the, yeah, Keith has been around for a long time. He just doesn't come around very often.
He's been around for, yeah, a long, long time. Jenny was calling all tweakers to come to the woods. <laughs> calling all tweakers. Oh, I know. No hard feelings. Some A lot of this, I can't take, I mean, no if. I don't go to uh, to Prairie Gardens for a source of information. I go there for entertainment. You know what I mean? There's, you just have to, that's just, and nothing, that's just, I, and that's fine. She can be entertaining. But I don't go there for my information, you know. I don't go for, I don't go for my Summer Wells information really to anybody's channel. I like research myself, you know, look into things. I don't really go watch people's, people send me videos all the time and ask if I see this or that. And I, usually I don't, unless it's something I feel like is important. But yeah, I don't go watch, um, people's reviews of my videos and <laughs> Hey flip flop called someone butt breath No, I don't know Keith in real life. No. He's just been around. No, you, it's fine. Like, you guys don't get paid to be a mod here. So you don't, it's like, <laughs> you come here when you, some of you guys feel bad when you can't be here and to mod, but like, Maybe someday I'll have it like that where I can pay my mods. I used, I thought so at one point, like maybe I might, you know, back when my channel first took off, like I couldn't even keep up with the emails. Like I, now I've just learned to not let it get to me. Like I feel it used to give me so much anxiety to see all the emails I'd have to respond to, you know? And I, it, and I mean, half have to, because if I didn't, it would make me feel like anxious. Now I just, yeah, if you guys got an important, something seriously important that you are trying to get a hold of me about and and I haven't responded, just email me again and just let me know it's important or whatever. Because sometimes like your emails can get lost and oh no, Sheba's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I know, nurse. I'm just saying. I I know I don't have to. I wish someday. If I ever got to that point, I don't know. I wonder if certain channels do pay their mods. Like, you know, like the bigger channels. Do you guys know of anybody who does that? She's trying to call Laura. Hmm. I don't think she'll get, I don't think Laura will talk to her, but she can try. But I have heard that Andy has been trying to get a hold of Laura. I don't know if that's true. So, mm -hmm. Laura has no problem to tell somebody to 
fuck off. So just saying. I really, I don't know. Laura doesn't get too excited about the YouTube stuff, but that, you know, maybe she, maybe she will talk to her. Who knows? Did you see what BK put for his name? He put not Ziggy baby's daddy. Oh my God. <laughs> No, I didn't see that Benny put that. He is so. I mean, talk about horrible people. Tiffany Marie, like, oh, my God. She just has to keep out doing herself. Why the heck would you put out something about somebody's parents who, you know, uh, who would ever use um, the murder of somebody's mother as a way to try to terrorize somebody? I don't know. I just should show you who the type of person somebody is when they when they'll go certain levels you know Let's see No, she's not. She's not. She's not related to those whites. No, people. It's funny that people try. That's not true. Witches wear hats, not crowns. <laughs> you sexualized what? Carrots, you mean? Are you, ta are you talking about Tiffany and her carrots again? Oh, dude, that's the shit I was laughing at. Oh, my gosh. See, that's why I was dying laughing. When I first went to prayer gardens yesterday, she was saying, st the stuff she was saying about Tiffany Marie, I could not. Like, holy crap, was that hilarious. I mean, saying, like, we can't even... We're not even safe to go to the freaking grocery store anymore. <laughs> but Prayer Garden was saying about the produce aisle and carrots and Tiffany Marie and how the, there's a shortage on carrots because of her and Hey, Connie. <laughs> Tiffany Marie says that you sexualize her all the time and that you must like girls. <laughs> What was up with that, too? People thought that um, AB lost his channel because of Tiffany Marie and then come to find out he hit it or whatever. I don't know what's going on there. Apples.
eggplant by now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> she insinuated that A.B. redrummed his ex and buried her under the house. A oh, red rum truck. She was insinuating also about, I don't know, I saw something that ate, or somebody sent me a video that Benny put out, like, saying some really gross things about, um, just really gross, horrible things. And then bringing up his daughter and stuff. Is Benny jealous or something? Is he jealous that Tiffany Marie gave AB the same carrot pictures? Carrot starfish slash carrot slash starfish pictures. on all fours. <sighs> Cal is just as bad for sh real, Sharon. thinking about the he shouldn't be thinking about I know right I know per garden was saying things like that that Tiffany Marie has ruined um, grocery shopping for for us for the rest of our lives we can't ever now we can't even go down the produce aisle or something like i mean oh my gosh i about peed myself oh they do valerie um benny released a clip of tiffany marie and him having a conversation and she's sitting there talking talking to him about how they have already um, how you know did all that weird shit they do. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, Tanya. I have no idea. It doesn't even make sense to me that how Tiffany could ever be cool. Benny, the stuff that he has said about Tiffany, but they they deserve each other. So seriously, they really do. They deserve each other. That's as best as Tiffany Marie deserves. And Tiffany and Marie is as good as Benny deserves. Like, they're perfect. I re released Tiffany and Ernie talking about a mirror pick. Oh. Tiffany and Marie milking a cow with her boots on. Ew. Gosh, she has no respect for herself. It's kind of
kind of sad. <laughs> Sweet tea. <laughs> I've even been sent the, sent the pic, Sharon, but the one I was sent, I don't know. I mean, I could probably find it. I didn't save it or anything. <laughs> it was completely, like, covered, you know, edited, but I could tell that she was on all fours. See each other in person yet? I don't know, Valerie. Um, Sylvia, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I can, I think they're kind of bummed about the property. I'm sure. <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna get off here thank you so much for hanging out with me it was a good night so tomorrow i might have some more um info on that video i showed earlier that fred took but all right guys we'll talk Tomorrow.